This video serves as an Asset MSP Administrator Portal Overview. We will cover the functionalities of the portal, demonstrate creating a new customer and license management. First, we need to log into the portal. The account is created by a distributor and it automatically works as Asset Business Account. The default view after logging in is the Dashboard section. There's a welcome window showing tips what to do. Then there are some overview graphs. Status overview for companies and users and of course overview of licenses. Here you can see the number of active ordered licenses, suspended and expired licenses and overused licenses, which means the administrator is using more than they should and they can adjust the quantity of these. Trendline for Unilicense and Products is showing the progress in time and at the bottom there is the real-time product usage and RSS feed. License Management tab shows the created companies or customers and their licenses and allows the administrator to manage them in a very easy way. The Stars company has three products with various numbers of licenses. Asset Endpoint Antivirus for Windows, which is OK. There are 75 units available with zero activated on any computer. For Asset Endpoint Antivirus for Linux, there is a trial license. I can see its validity and number of possible extensions. Asset Secure Authentication has a suspended license. This way it's not active and it is not billed. There are various options for each license. Admin can see the daily usage graph and also export it to an Excel file. The Show License History option enables you to see the changes made in time. As in this example, there was an update of license unit quantity. Adjusting the license unit quantity is very easy, both up and down. Admins can raise or lower the quantity of particular license units whenever they need to. There are special options for trial licenses. Administrator can convert the trial license to a full one or can extend the trial period. A suspended license can be unsuspended with one simple click. The same goes the other way. When I don't need some licenses, I can suspend them easily. Companies tab offers the administrator a simple overview of their customers. There are a few options for the created company. I can see its details, add a user that can manage the company, edit its details and suspend the whole company with all its licenses. In the company details we can see its description, status and available products. Access rights shows the administrators with access to this company. In this scenario there is John Smith with right permissions. Activated units shows the number of license units activated on computers. Licenses tab shows the licenses for this company. The admin can do all the operations that were described earlier in the License Management tab. That means view the daily usage, license history, update the quantity and so on. License usage shows the chart with active licenses. Administrator can generate the chart for a selected time period. When creating a new company, admin should name the company 
and choose the products that will be available to it. In this scenario, it will be the company Planet with asset endpoint antivirus for Windows 1500 units, ten trial units for asset endpoint antivirus for Mac OS, fifty units for asset cloud office security. Asset Protect Complete and Mail Plus and Asset Secure Authentication with a thousand units. In the Access Rights section, John Smith will be selected for managing this company. He can have Write Permissions, Read Permissions so he can view the company details but cannot manage it, or No Access at all. Some products, as in this case as a dynamic threat defense, may require the agreement with terms of use. Now the company is created and licenses are ordered. Like with a single license, the company can also be suspended, which will suspend all the licenses assigned to it. Reports tab allows the administrator to generate license usage reports either for all companies or for a few selected ones. The report can be generated for a specific time period and also can be exported to an Excel file. User management shows the administrators. Here we can see Peter with right access to the company and John with no access to the company. Creating a new user requires providing the name and email address to which they will receive the invitation. There are three access rights levels. Write access to the MSP company and all customers, read access to the MSP company and all customers, and no access to the MSP company with custom read or write access to customers. It all depends on the MSP company needs. Local administrator for selected customers may not need the access rights to MSP company and may need only the access to those customers he or she is managing. Now we will log out of the portal and log in as John Smith, a local administrator with no access to the MSP company and custom access to selected customers. The default view is again the dashboard panel with information about the managed companies. We can see here that the read privileges only give the admin an overview of company details and licenses without any option to adjust the numbers of license units or requesting or managing them at all. Right privileges would allow the admin to do all the things mentioned before. When logged back as the main administrator for the MSP company, the dashboard section is offering an easy way to activate Asset Protect Cloud or Asset Cloud Office Security since there were licenses eligible for both of them ordered for the newly created company. After pressing the Activate option for the ECOS, there is the option to choose a data center location and Agreement Acknowledgement. When activated, a new tab will appear among the others.
My Company tab is showing the details of the MSP company, like contact information or available products. In the Access Rights, there are administrators with right access to manage the MSP company. It is not showing the current administrator, and since John Smith has no access, the field is empty. License Usage shows all the licenses in use by all customers. The admin can select the time period, choose the licenses or select them all and generate a report. And of course, also export it to an Excel file. Audit log tracks various events that have occurred like logins, authentications, alerts and so on. The settings section contains an option to deactivate disconnected devices. After a selected time period during which the devices have not connected to Asset MSP Administrator, they will be automatically deactivated and license seeds will be available for other devices. The newly created tab for Asset Cloud Office Security can serve as a shortcut to ECOS. And same goes for the Asset Protect Cloud tab. Working with both of these will be explained in some of the following videos. One last option to mention can be found among the settings of this account. It is the two-factor authentication option. The Asset MSP Administrator portal is integrated with Asset Secure Authentication and so offers the option to tighten the security when logging in. In the next login in process, the system will offer me a way to install the application for two-factor authentication. After installing a mobile application and scanning the QR code, the admin will have to enter the generated one-time password to log into the console. And this concludes the brief Asset MSP Administrator Overview. Thank you for watching.